welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayo Mesale, and today I'm joined by Sanzai. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How have you been? I've been good. I've missed you. Oh, you have? I wish I could go back to Bagoda. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you as well. Like, but we moved I mean, to the permanent site. So. Yeah, well, and that's a good thing because well, now you have your own property. And we thank the Lord, but it's. You know, it's, I mean, Magoda is everything I know, my life, everybody's yeah. there. I mean, friends. changes are good yeah. somehow. How have you been, though? I've been, I'm tired. <laughs> I feel crippled. Like, usually I'm a hermit. I don't like, I don't enjoy going out. I like to stay indoors and lock myself up and read and study. But right now, when... I feel like my liberty has been taken away from me, <laughs> right? So... It, without the ban or without the lockdown, I would gladly sit back and do well, nothing. Now that but now that it's obvious, like now. my body, I'm itching to just step out. And luckily, I'm in media, so um, essential worker. But yeah, I feel for other people because at, at this point, it's not even enough that you're an introvert. Everybody misses the outdoor. Absolutely, yeah. everybody does miss it. Hopefully, we'll <laughs> be able to rise above this. Yeah, eventually. It's, it's a very top. Uh, nobody has seen this at all. I, I mean, all the all the experts. Everybody is trying to wrap all their heads around what's going on and understanding it. Yeah, but I, I I do have a feeling that we are we are um to a certain extent we have understood what is going on. Or like in January, if everyone knows, was like, what is going on? You watch TV and different people are saying different things, and neither of them is making sense, you know. But right now, I think the world man is getting a hold of. Well, solutions, yes. So, so here's what we found as today's quote. Every decade or so, dark clouds will fill the economic skies and they will briefly rain gold. When downpour of that sort occur, it's imperative that we rush outdoors, carrying wash tubs and not teaspoon. That's from Warren Buffett. He wrote this letter to his stakeholders in 2016. I, for one, when I saw this quote, I think it's very apt at this time. Right. And as much as we're seeing all the negativity going on around there, mm -hmm. surely there are opportunities, you know, that is being poured out for the universe. So whoever picks it up, you pick it up. So it, it is whether your, your government is responsible enough yeah. or the economy um, decision makers are responsible enough to say, you know what, at this time I think I can twist the hand of, you know, and yeah. make it to my favor. So when I saw that uh, quote, I thought it was apt. What do you think about it? Honestly, that? I think we've, we've seen too many dark clouds. Nigeria particularly, we've seen too many dark clouds this decade. Like we've had enough of it. Yeah, but know. in those dark clouds, we've been, we've been seeing, they've been raining gold, diamonds, all the precious stones, but we've not been picking it up. We, we true. And that's, and that's just <laughs> sad. But we're, we're, actually, we have been picking it up. Eh? Well, certain sectors, I think entertainment is booming. Well, so yeah, and then um, um, what do you call them? Um, I don't want to call names, but live stream and all that. So media is booming as well. So, well, um, but the economy generally, like when you talk about oil and entrepreneurs and all, uh, yeah, now nah. God will help us. <laughs> well, today we we are actually novice in the economic matters. So we brought the professionals. So today we're discussing COVID nineteen and the Nigerian economy, and we have. Professor Patutomi and Wale Ajiboye to talk to us. But first, let's take a quick break to see what we found in the news. Please stay with us.